Hello and welcome to part 4 of this Craft CMS tutorial series. In this video we're going to cover creating an image upload field and then creating an image transform so we can create different sized versions of images. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go back to the admin panel and we're going to go to settings, assets, and we have to create a new volume, which is just a place we want to store uploaded files. So we'll call it uploads, for example. And then we do want to check this on because we want images to have public URLs so we can use them in our templates. So for the base URL, we can use an alias called web, which represents our main website's base URL. And then we'll do slash uploads. And this will be a new folder created in that web directory. For the file system path, we can use another alias called web root, which represents the actual file path on our computer or on our web server to that web directory. So again, we'll add slash uploads for that new uploads folder. And let's press save. Okay, so now that we have a place images can be uploaded to, we have to create a field that we can use in our templates for images. So let's go to Settings, Fields, and create a new field. And we'll call this Feature Image, for example. And if we scroll down, we want the field type not to be plain text or redactor, but to be an asset field. So let's select that. And we have our sources here. So let's uncheck all and choose the source we just created, the uploads volume. And if we scroll down, we can do some nice things here like restrict the allowed file types. So we can make sure people are only uploading an image file. So let's check that. And since this is gonna be a feature image, let's limit it to just one image. The view mode here is just what it looks like when you add images from the editor. So let's choose a large thumbnail because it'll only be one image. And you can add some helpful text to the, ad, to the editor so that they know what they can do. So we'll say add feature image. And let's save this. So we have a new feature image field. Let's add this to the home page. So we'll go back to settings sections and edit the home page here on the right. And let's drag our new feature image field up into the content tab and then press save. So if we go over to entries and edit our home page, we have our rich text field and now we have this new feature image field. So we can click this and browse our system or we can just drag something over. So let's do that. Great, so that image was uploaded. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go back to the code editor and you can see it created a new uploads directory within our assets directory. And we have that image right here. So let's edit our template to render this new image. We'll create a new image tag and type entry dot feature image, if you remember we called it that. And one thing to know is that all images in Craft are stored as an array. So even though there's only one image allowed, it will be an array with one image in it. So we have to do dot one to get that first image in the array. And then we just type dot URL. And note that we don't have to use the site URL variable here because the feature image, the image field, knows what the full URL is to this image. So let's just save that, go to the browser, and refresh. And you're seeing that we get the whole full resolution image here, which we almost never want to do on a website. So what we have to do is create an image transform to resize this image after it's been uploaded. So let's go back to the admin panel go to settings, assets, and go to this image transform section and create a new image transform. Let's call this something like medium. 
So we can crop the image to a specific aspect ratio, or we can keep the original aspect ratio and just resize it. So let's choose that one for now. We'll say it can have a maximum width of 700 and a maximum height of 500. We'll leave these settings default for now, but it is nice to know that you can force an image to be a certain file type or force a certain quality setting. But let's just go and save this. So the last thing we have to do is edit our template to use this new image transform. So instead of just getting the raw URL for this image, let's use a method called get URL and we can pass in our transform name, which we called medium. Now this is the handle to the image transform. So let's save that, go back to the browser and refresh. And you can see we're getting a resized version of our feature image in the template. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.